fixture on the national level for several years. However, it was the doubt of some of Al's detractors that led him to compete in last year's Musclemania, his first drug-tested event. I've been competing on the NPC circuit, uh, doing national shows there. Uh, I guess being one of the only naturals to win, you know, first place in, in my weight class. And uh, no one really believed that I was natural, so I said, hey, you know, I'll do a natural show, you know, and uh, show them that, you know, it, I am natural. Al has a penchant for humility. Part of the reason he's never been tempted to use steroids is that Mother Nature gave him a genetic blueprint for a spectacular physique. I just believe that uh, you know, I was born with good genetics. I was fortunate to, to have good symmetry, and, and I think they, uh, even though I don't weigh as much as they do or look like um, a, a monster, I think that my, the, the symmetry that I have and the bone structure that I have allows me to compete against these guys. Looking at Al, you'd probably assume that muscles were more important to him than academics. However, he put a three-year hold on competing to pursue his degree in the highly competitive discipline of physical therapy. It's a really competitive program to get into. Uh, once I got in, uh, I just tried you know, my best to acquire the knowledge. And once I got out, I decided, you know, this is really what I want to do. I was, I was sure that uh, I wanted to treat people and help them out, uh, help them get better. And uh, that's what it's about. It's about educating people about their body. So this Phoenix Desert Warrior will continue to be a bodybuilder on his terms. Al Escobar will train and compete the natural way.